Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today I'm taking a look at the Smash Labs Creations shipping container. As always, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are or if you've picked anything up from Smash Lab before. And of course, make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see all the photos I took. But that's not all. I will also have a very special announcement at the end as well. So make sure to stick around for that. But that's enough share chatter. Let's go ahead and get at her. Alright, let's jump right into it. So first we have this palette. It does have these boxes on them. You've got little fragile logos and everything all over them. They are like glued to the palette, it seems. It is saran wrapped. And then on the side, they put our logo on it. Thank you, Smash Lab. That was that was real kind of you. Didn't know they were, that uh, they were going to do that. And then for the little array of round, you can see fragile on the other side. The top, you can see all the seam lines for the flaps. Those are also glued down. Bottom, you see all the wonderful boards there. It is painted blue. I do like that shade they used. Uh, next up we do have more of these little boxes. These ones just kind of have the little logo at the bottom for fragile and the barcode on the side. These are these and the ones on the uh, palette are like a thick cardstock from what I can tell. And then you have these ones here. So this one says was it Lobo Trucks or Lomo Trucks. And this one's nice. It's empty. Uh, it is made out of more of like a like cardboard paper. Here's one for Neo Geo. Again, this one is open and not glued shut. But this one has a little foam inside and a little barcode on the end. Uh, but again, this is like a cardboard paper. It's a little thicker than the other ones. And this one's my favorite. So it has Ageless Geeks logo on it, which they're a toy store out in California. I, I know them from I've Instagram and a few other places that fragile on the other sides. My favorite part is the tape. You got the tape across the seam line, which is a really cool little little addition. So this one's by far my favorite out of all the boxes you get. On to the main attraction, which is the shipping container itself. So this bad boy is 17 inches long. Normally I don't break out the measuring tape, but this is so massive I felt like it needed to be done. Uh, so keep that in mind if you decide to reach out to them and pursue getting one of these. It is massive, so you definitely need a decent size of display or a good place for it. So as far as detail goes, the side panels of this look incredible. I'm pretty sure it's that accordion like shipping paper based on what I saw on the inside, but it really does look like the side of a shipping container. The uh, top edges are all of like that uh, insulation foam that most dioramas use. I'm pretty sure even the brackets, or at least those are something soft, I can't tell. And then the top is a little bit different. It's flat, but it is like a like balsa wood or some sort of like thin wood. Um, but yeah, it is different for than the sides as far as material wise. The back is also the same way. And then I'm going to swing you around to the front here. And this is where the Earl Magic is. So you've got the caution at the top. You've got the smash abbreviated. You've got all the different stickers and logos. You've got all the weights it can handle. Even in there. You've got tons of like the, where the broken where the lines are. You've got their logo. You've got more caution stuff. And then these bars are like some sort of plastic. I don't know if these brackets are 3D printed or anything, but you do also have these hinges on the side. And the reason for that, if you're very, very careful, because it is the waltz or the doors itself are foam, you can open it. And then you can see down inside it, it is kind of very ominous looking at it like that. We've got the wood on the bottom. And then like I said, it's that like kind of paper accordion looking packing paper. And it is big enough that you can fit your pallet of boxes inside, which is perfect. And you can also see here, inside wise, how it compares with a figure in it. There's one of the Valiverse figures. So plenty of room for activities. Uh, definitely have a lot of plans for this. Quick size comparison. Here's my Moffex Rebirth Batman up against it. You can see quite a bit of difference. There's the Valiverse uh, Steel Brigade. Again, about from their world, like a couple feet. Marvel Legends John Favreau and Pimp Day Destro, both you know, about the same distance, about an inch or so, which would probably be a couple feet in theirs. And then switch that out with the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Amadillo, and he's just barely shorter in it, so that definitely says something. Okay, so overall, I'm really impressed. I've heard a lot of great things about Smash Lab. I followed them on Instagram for quite some time and always was super impressed with the pictures and stuff they posted. So I'm, I'm real happy with how this turned out. 
one thing to keep in mind though, if you are someone looking into getting into the diorama game and like making displays or taking photos or what have you, it is a very pricey endeavor. So you've seen some of the stuff that I've had on the channel, whether it's through my reviews with Fasco or the photos I've posted on social media. A lot of those dioramas are extremely expensive. We're talking hundreds of dollars. So for what you saw in this video, it was $120 shipped. So that's everything included. And the quality is absolutely fantastic. It's really impressive. But again, that's what you're getting into when you're going out and getting stuff to build, world build within your displays or within the photos you're wanting to take. It's, it's definitely a very pricey territory to get into. So just be warned in advance if you do decide to go that route. Personally, I would 100% put my stamp of approval on Smash Lab. Obviously, if you've been a fan of the channel, you also know huge fan of Vasco. Vincent's a friend of the channel. He does incredible work as well. There are plenty of amazing artists out there who are doing this. Make sure just to do your due diligence. Make sure just to kind of you know, stick to ones that seem more reputable. There's a couple out there who have a large following that I've tried to deal with and they, you know, it just didn't work out. I won't want to name names, don't want to call anyone out, but it just, it, it left a bad taste in my mouth and I ended up not purchasing the uh, items I'd requested. But Smash Lab, 100% great from start to finish. Easy transaction, got it done real quick. So huge shout out to them. And then before we close out, I did promise a big announcement. And that announcement is, if you've been a fan of the channel, you know I have a very large diorama of the Batcave. I originally got it when I had a significantly larger area for my studio. It's really incredible. And it was commissioned by Phoenix Blue Studios. And he did fantastic work. Unfortunately, when I moved, I moved into a smaller place. And now it has just been sitting in boxes because it does come apart in my closet closet and it's been that way for almost a year and it just feels kind of criminal because something that amazing deserves to be on display deserves to be you know shown the love that it deserves every now and then I'd pull out a piece of it to use in some photos whether it would be like if I want a rocky background or something like that and I feel like it deserves better than that so I've decided to part ways with it it is 36 wide by 32 deep and then 24 inches tall so it is massive you can see the photo here on your screen of it uh, if you are interested please feel free to reach out to me i will be upfront about it the price is going to be what i paid plus shipping so if you are in the core 48 states you'll be looking at 1200 dollars shipped and I know that is very pricey and definitely out of a lot of people's price ranges, which I understand. It's a very big piece and it was very expensive to get made. So I'm not looking to make a crazy profit or anything like that, literally just charging what I paid plus the shipping to its new home. So if you're interested, reach out to me either on Instagram or Twitter or even comment down below as well. I hate to see it go, but unfortunately I just don't have the space for it anymore. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you are a fan of the channel and would like to help support us in this crazy journey, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair, where we have several tiers with different rewards for our patrons. Anything from being able to make suggestions for the fake podcast at the end of the real podcast. You can get prints of the photos I take at the end of the reviews, and you can even join us on our weekly live stream. So the link will be in the description below. Make sure to check that out. And also go check out Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair, where you can see all the photos I take and a bunch of other stuff that we post there. But that's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully see you next week. Same toy time, same Toy Fair channel. Thank you for watching.